Hi everybody, this is a little video how to make your homemade lift kit for your Honda Recon. I think it's better to do your own lift kit because when you buy a lift kit from a manufacturer, um, the lift kit can induce stress into, into your uh, suspension. So uh, I will explain you that. This is, this is a manufacturer lift kit and at the, this page it's written note installing the top of the chuck will be difficult and may require compressing the chuck so what does it mean here you are in normal position of your ATV suspension and the ball joint can work uh, by by lifting the wheel or just lowering the wheel. If they say that we need to compress the chuck to, to reinstall the, the suspension, it means that once you have lifted your bicycle, the maximum position is reached because of the ball joint. So what does it mean is once you've installed your lift kit, you cannot go lower because the ball joint at their maximum position so by doing by yourself your own lift kit you can just get it a little bit higher than the one that you can buy and do not induce distress into your two ball joint so I will explain you uh, how I've done mine um, the one I showed you is uh, installed at the lower part of the chuck each side but the one I've done for my my under recon is installed on the top here and is attached to the two chuck at the same time so you have only two parts to install so um, here are my lift kits that I made for the front of my under recon um, this is the the front part that is going down to not enter in uh, interference with the brake line here so it's going under it and the rear part is going up to not enter in interference with the steering shaft so like I showed you into my little sketch um, the lift kit that you can buy on internet are made to completely push down here the ball joints are at their maximum position so it's not a good thing for the wearing of the ball joints so what I made I just lift them up a little bit and I I marked the, pos the position here and I made the hole the key is to just lift it up a little bit to avoid the maximum ball joint position and in the back here just let a little space to be sure that it's not gonna hit the frame and now you can mark the position and if you want some measurement I can give you uh, some It's not gonna be very accurate, but uh, gonna do the job. So, um, half of a hinge, we have about one hinge. And the combination of the two, half of an inch and one inch, make more than an inch in total. So, it's making about measurement or about one inch and one eighth of an inch 
So uh, there are the good measurement to avoid bad wearing of the of the ball joints. So uh, I made the same thing for the back. And overall, I think it's better for the bike. Thank you for listening. And uh, if you have any question, don't hesitate. Le premier. Photo de la, de la lumière, c'est un pose de la lumière.